It's like we're living in a house of mirrors here. It seems like as we wander around, all of us seeking divinity, pursuing the holy, people all over the world are pursuing a different image of God, distorted and disfigured by tradition, culture, or education, and representing a poor reflection of the true king of glory. But our commission as human beings is to dissect this concept, to feel our way through this house of mirrors and to seek understanding and revelation of the divine. But the more we look at it, the more obvious it becomes that the system of this world is designed to offer only counterfeit versions of the true God, to pervert the concept of divinity, to claim that it has nothing to offer to an enlightened people, and to scoff and say, only the foolish would pursue God. But for those of us who have not been swept up into the propaganda of a world that denies its own maker, the question becomes, who is God really? For great is the Lord, and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. For the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and glory are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. And what are we to do with this? How are we to respond to the claim that there is just one God, one creator, and one Lord of all? And beyond just that, that he has invited us to come into his courts. We answer with obedience. We bring our bodies, the desires of which we lay down willingly as living sacrifices to give as an offering to the King of Kings. We come humbly before him and expect mercy. We stand in awe of the splendor and majesty that surround the throne, and we have the likeness of the Creator imprinted on our spirit. It becomes our defining trait. 1 Corinthians 13, 12 says, Now we see but a poor reflection is in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. This is our hope of glory. We labor and toil, overcoming the distorted reflections of the true God this world has established in our hearts, and the hope that the fruit of our labor will be a just reward, that when we gaze upon our beloved, that he will accept us as his, and will take us into the holy place, and clothe us with his garments of majesty. This is where our home is, and from before the foundations of the earth were laid, the Maker has been calling you.